You welcome back. This is Breakfast Daily, and um, we've moved away from odd violence, you know, and all the <laughs> chaos happening on the campus yeah. of KNUST. What those boys do not know is, oh, did we find any girls in there? Well, not yet. Anyway, so I'm yeah. okay to we, say we don't have the statistics boys, right? on those who have been arrested. We all we know is that students have been picked up. I know it will be boys, you know. Like, no, you it's know, fine. Conti and cat there. It's fine. Anyway, but no. So what I'm trying to say is, what they don't know is. They have to start finding more new. Mm -hmm. All this A way, B way they are doing on campus, they are coming out M to face the real world. M if they knew what awaits <laughs> them, they would start thinking of some business ideas, uh -huh. you know, and start paying attention to serious life issues. Yeah. They will come and meet us here. But Clearly. for now, we who, they say adults who not come. <laughs> you know? We but who are so, facing it. <laughs> yeah, we know how it pitches hard. But we are mm. talking about growing our businesses. Yeah. We are talking about taking advantage of situations. You know, there's nothing wrong uh, with taking advantage of opportunities. Mm. And that is what um, you always have to look out for. Prepare yourself so that when you are presented with an opportunity, you jump on it and you mm. make the most of it. And that is why if you are a homegrown business, this is Ghana coming up on the 27th and 28th of August. Yeah. That is Saturday and Sunday weekend, is something weekend. you really have to look forward mm. to. If you have not registered, well, maybe you are not interested in growing your business. If you are not coming there, maybe you are equally also not interested in making sure you get mm. everything you need right here in Ghana. Where the dollar is going, this is not when you want to change a whole lot of cities mm. just to import something from elsewhere. Yeah. Because everything you need is right here in Ghana. We are giving you that platform mm. on Saturday and Sunday. Come and sort yourself out. Come and know what you can get yeah. from home and let's grow our economy. Look, we are all complaining about the dollar, yeah. but it is nobody's responsibility. Yeah. We put it in the hands of people. But if we all are trying to, yeah. you know, satisfy our foreign taste, yeah. this is what happens. And it's even going to get worse because oh, um, yes. the import market is really going to be heavy from September going because they would have to import for Christmas sales. Mm. So no, the it, dollar is going to get You worse. remember the headline yeah. we read, you know, mm -hmm. uh, economic situation. Yeah. Pushing uh, ladies in UK into prostitution. Yeah. So it is not just a Ghanaian thing. Yeah. It's a global situation mm -hmm. and it's going to get worse. We can't run anywhere. Yeah. So we have to better our own and enjoy our lives. Now yep. we're joined by some amazing ladies and um, we're going to be talking about This is Ghana. I mm -hmm. have Ruth here with me and I have Agnes and they are coming from yeah. GEPA. Um, it's That's really, the Ghana it's key that we are talking about exports and imports and all these yeah. kind of stuff. Right? <laughs> so we are coming to find out from you mm -hmm. what we are exporting, yeah. what we can export. Mm -hmm. In fact, are we even exporting anything at all? Oh, we are, but the, it's the volumes that's the yeah. issue. Yeah, so we, we are. Can, right, <laughs> anything from it. We are not exporting anything. Oh, we are getting something, but I mean, there's room for improvement. That's your primary two teacher used and to you, tell you. Well, you know that, you know that at, um, this is Ghana, there's also mm -hmm. going to be a trade clinic. Yes. And yes. I am really looking forward to the mm -hmm. trade clinic because I have a lot of questions. I don't think that we yeah. can ask all those questions here, here this morning. Yeah. So we'll come to you so that mm -hmm. we'll bring our notepads and pens. Yeah. <laughs> you give us the notes, we'll write them mm. down. And we also have here with us Selassie. Selassie is one of our own, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. um, a family member. Yeah. And um, 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 when it comes to heritage caravans. Selassie, you know, I, no, she doesn't want me to expose her, but I expose don't, her. Don't, if don't. you don't see her cooking on this channel, you see her dancing. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but this morning we are talking serious business. Uh, our dancing and cooking are not serious business. exercise. <laughs> 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 All right, and Selassie is coming from the Delcy shop mm -hmm. and um, proudly supported by GIZ, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Ladies, yeah. you are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so I'll, I'll start with um, Gepa, mm -hmm. right? Tell us what you do. What is your mandate, Gepa? What yeah. exactly is Gepa all about? Okay, I guess... You're looking at me, I have to start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, once again, thank you very much for inviting mm. us and also making us a partner of This Is Ghana activity. Um, we bring you warm greetings from um, the CEO and the management of Ghana Export Promotion Authority. So, by our name, Ghana Export Promotion Authority, our key mandate, responsibility, and mm. role. Mm -hmm. Is to facilitate, first of all, the production and promotion of exports from Ghana. Mm. And then let me quickly say that, um, you know, in the past, Ghana was doing just primary commodities, mm -hmm. cocoa beans, 
timber logs and yeah. lumber and then gold or unprocessed minerals. But since 1969, mm. when GAPA was set up, we began to do diversification. Please listen very carefully. Mm -hmm. In both value and volume. Okay. So that it is mm. not just primary products, mm. but we are also looking at how we could add value to our export products. Right. And just from three export products, in fact, I can also talk about electricity. Mm. We still export it though. So about three or four different export products. Yeah. Now you can talk about four to 500 different mm. products. Mm. They are not just primary. Yeah. They are also value added products. Mm. And I want to add quickly that it's not just state institutions, big minerals commission or cocoa board or mm. electricity company, but you have small young women, mm. young men, you know, small companies who are also into exports. So okay. GEPA is doing a lot oh. and mm. to our exports in Ghana and albeit helping to bring in foreign exchange. So I rest for now. Mm. <laughs> okay. Nice, nice one. Now, <laughs> there's something you call the Impact Hub. Mm. So um, I'll come to you, uh, Ruth. Tell us a little bit about Impact Hub. So the GEPA Impact Hub. Yeah because Impact Hub is a name that's also... Yes, the so GEPA the, yes. Impact Hub. Yes. So the GEPA Impact Hub is um, a technology-driven mm. trade information center. So what we said was that if we are trying to help people to export, mm -hmm. it's not enough to just talk. Yeah. We, um, if you know our CEO very well, Dr. Ifa Sabia Sari, she's more into putting a lot of action behind those words. Mm. So we are saying, oh, you should export, you should bring in, how are you going to do that? Yeah. If you're going to help people and you're going to make it more convenient for them to export, then you should put in place the kind of things that will make it attractive for mm -hmm. people to want to export. So in the GEPA Impact Hub, one unique feature is that we brought in permanent desks for the Ghana Standards Authority, okay. the Food and Drugs Authority, okay. And the PPRSD, so it's a mouthful, Plant Protection and Regulatory Services D Directorate of the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Mm. So that if you are into food or so anything related to any of these areas, mm. you can come in there. So one-stop shop, you get all your information that you need. You're not an exporter. You've heard about export. You, you're thinking, how do I, export? I just do charcoal. How can yeah. I? And then you can yeah. get your answers from there. Right. And then it's um, fully equipped with 26 um, um, desk computers that you can use to assess the trade information that you need and then you have resource persons who are there to help you to find out exactly what you need and where you can export to who's going to I, I, I do potato peels who's going to buy it yeah. I do charcoal who's going to buy it where, where can I find a market mm -hmm. for it that's what we help people to mm. get and we try to put all in one space so that you don't have to go to Shiashi and then cross over to Pokwasi yeah. and then come over here and bring mm. your papers and you can get all your answers then. Then if you want to, I mean, register as an exporter, we help you to do it mm. right there. And then that's what we do on the ninth floor of the Africa Trade mm. House. Amazing. You see why Amazing. you have to be at yeah. this is And it's such a cozy place. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, no, no. Look, you didn't mm. know this. Yeah. You know, so you, you are into something and you are just thinking mm. where to start from. Exactly, you know, yeah. I wish. You know, Look, we are not wishing anymore. So mm -hmm. people are taking advantage of real yeah. situation. Yeah. So the GEPA Impact Hub is, is mm. really happening. People mm. are taking advantage of that. Yeah. So regardless of how course. small whatever you are doing is, just move to them, ask questions, yeah. know how you can also be an international business person. True. There is a video on the GEPA Impact Hub. Let's take a look at it. When we come back, we'll have more conversations.
So you saw that. Yeah, it's the a spaces beautiful. are really popping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's free. And it's, oh, free. it's free. Yes, it's because free. we are not mandated to pick mm. money for these things. What we are mandated to do is to um, facilitate. Wow. Even advice and direction to exactly, people. Exactly, because mm. you need to let it be attractive for people to want to do mm. business Amazing of export. Stuff. Amazing no, no, let's, stuff. let's find something. Yeah. Yeah. And in case <laughs> you want to have a place to have your business meetings, and because mm -hmm. the small businesses sometimes don't have the office, office space, space. So there are two lounges there mm. that um, we provide for those services. So there's one equipped with um, a screen that you can have your Zoom meetings and all that. Is that also for free? Wonderful. Yes, please. Hey, <laughs> wow. really, wow. Gepa? <laughs> That's nice of you. Yeah, yeah, I know, you're really we are doing nice amazing people. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this is why, so for me, I think mm -hmm. that this is why, you know, institutions like yeah. these yes. need to come out, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm sure people want yeah. services True. like yeah. these, True. but they have no, no idea. idea. I mean, when you hear mm -hmm. the name, you yeah. think that it's only when you have something big that you want mm -hmm. to export, you go to yeah. them. But all these things are, True. you know, that information is that... This is Ghana. You are yeah. the right place. <laughs> the right and we're place. glad to have you, actually. Of course, so, of course, yes. We are even learning so much, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can just take my bag and come and sit there. You know, this time... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you'll be seeing us. You'll be seeing us. <laughs> now, Selassie, so yeah. you are um, working with GIZ, okay? How do you meet GIZ? Mm. What are they doing for you? How has your association with them impacted mm. on your business? And uh, what exactly do you do okay. as a business person? Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, so at the Delcy shop, it's an online marketplace okay. where we sell Ghanaian natural beauty products. Right. So natural, specifically natural beauty products, and, uh, where we try to um, connect manufacturers, Ghanaian beauty manufacturers mm -hmm. to the international market via the e-commerce platform. Mm -hmm. And it's also a place where clients like Freema, who I know mm -hmm. she you know, likes mm -hmm. good stuff mm -hmm. on her skin and in her hair, well. instead of moving from <laughs> different websites for yeah. different brands, can come mm -hmm. to a one-stop shop okay. and she can find all the amazing Ghanaian wow. brands that wow. she wants to uh, purchase mm -hmm. from. So how did we meet GIZ? Mm -hmm. So uh, we met GIZ under a program called We For A. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so um, We For A is a program that mm -hmm. is specifically meant for female-owned businesses mm. um, who have operated for a certain number of years and are also um, TEF alumni. But we for A is a short for what? Women, Women Entrepreneurs for Africa, Africa yes. Mm. And um, mm. um, we came as a result of an after program for mm. the TEF program, which is Tony Lumenlu Foundation right. mm. program, mm. yes. So, Delcy was a winner of that grant oh, wow. somewhere oh, nice. in 2019. Nice. And so, as <laughs> post-program, mm. um, GIZ decided to handhold us and help us with trainings, workshops, and then access to markets. Mm. Right. And so, we registered under the We4A uh, program, and GIZ has been organizing mm. these workshops and helping us mm. um, register with um, this is Ghana because it's also a market access yeah. platform. So um, they go around wherever there are, you know, access to mm. market, either locally or regional or international. They mm. connect us and then they sponsor us. So mm. that's why they'll see sitting here today mm. as awesome. a proud sponsor, right. awesome. uh, no, sponsored business. And they also, yeah. um, mm. you know, link us to organizations like GEPA. So okay. we had some trainings where there was GEPA, there was FDA, all of that that they have at the Impact Hub. Mm. We were privy to that information earlier on. Ah. And so. It's the last thing. what would that show? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I'm here today, you know, yeah. to preach the good word, you mm -hmm. know, and let small businesses like the Delcy Shop mm -hmm. and others, and especially the female-owned businesses. Yeah. There's a yeah. lot of opportunities out there now mm -hmm. for us because, yeah, we're prudent when we're running our you businesses. Know, and we are better well, managers. You know, we're better managers. Yeah. No, no, no qualms here. No arguments. <laughs> no, don't bother. You're surrounded by four women. And so, yes, yes. I mean, they did the, the linkage. We mm. got in touch with Gepa. We registered. And there was even an opportunity recently mm. for Delcy to mm. go on a trade exhibition with Gepa in okay. Hamburg, Germany. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Well, yeah, <laughs> nice. Not, can you imagine? <laughs> so last day, you clean them out, then we are in Tamale. We are in. <laughs> when you're going to Germany, then you go. Okay. <laughs> but but let me come to you, um, Agnes. You are uh, Director for Marketing um, yeah. at Gepa. Yeah. Why is it so important 
for an authority like you, an institution mm. like you, to be at um, an exhibition like this as Ghana? Yes, um, thanks again. You know, um, what is the purpose of an exhibition? So <clears throat> it's to connect, let's say, um, a producer to a potential buyer. Right. And um, for us at GEPA, um, one of our key objectives is to ensure that people are able to find buyers they sell their products and then get money for the country. Mm. Now, the reason why we are very happy to be connect, I mean, to be part of this program is that this is a very good platform mm -hmm. for us to look for and identify potential exporters. Right. Mm -hmm. This is an opportunity for us to also give more information on the new trends mm. to those who are already exporting. Mm -hmm. And albeit, um, there are so many new people, new products we identify. Uh, at programs like this and so for us we think that it is um, an opportune platform mm. for GEPA to work with you to look for new products mm -hmm. to look for new people and also to let people know about the services that Selassie has been enjoying mm -hmm. Mm. let me even add uh, that even at the impact hub we don't only give you the fish we also even teach you how the to fish, fish. Yeah. and so for people like CTFM and institutions that are involved in trade facilitation mm. and we do also teach them how to do research mm -hmm. on export okay. markets mm -hmm. you know, using ITC market mm. analysis tools wow. so like Ruth also said where you can find the market mm -hmm. who is buying from Ghana who mm. is buying from Africa what are the prices and what are the what are the prevailing market conditions mm. so these are also essential tools mm. for any business person or even institutions like yours to be equipped mm. with the resources you need to understand what is happening globally. So mm. for GEPA, it's an opportunity for us, mm. as I said, to look for new products, to look for new I mean, young people mm. who we can mentor, and to also let those who are already in the business know a lot more about the new trends, mm. not just at GEPA, but in the export market, mm. generally, globally, as a whole. As for the right. mentorship, I like we need that. it. I like that. I mean, yes. I, I need mentorship. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> if, if I should walk to a GEPA stand yeah. mm -hmm. at the This Is Ghana exhibition, what should I expect to see? What we would want to do at mm. This Is Ghana mm. is to replicate the GEPA Impact Hub at the okay. This wow. Is Ghana, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. so that it's an export clinic. I know you, yeah. you, you said yeah. this. And so this is where you can come find out um, how you can get out of your comfort zone and mm. make a lot more money. Yeah. We have a target, actually. Okay. By 2029, we are hoping to make Ghana um, 25.3 um, billion US dollars mm. in export earnings. That's with non-traditional exports, mm. right. you see. So at now, um, last year, we did 3.3 billion mm -hmm. USD. That was 17% increase over the 2020 um, figures, which was about 2.8 USD right. billion. So, you know, at the beginning you said, mm, yeah, export to me, yeah, export to Kakra. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's not, not bad, bad at all. Because yeah. I, I think that we need to be hearing these kind yes. of stories. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's encouraging, yes. you know, yeah. because sometimes you feel that all hope is lost. It's you true. Know? But it's not that bad. And you'll be surprised at the kind of things people are doing. The mm. last time we were at Kempinski, mm. there was someone who had Momone. Paste. Toothpaste. Paste? Yes. Paste. So for those who don't want to... I'm telling you. Wait. Well, not toothpaste. No, not toothpaste. Yes. Paste. 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 my mind was racing. No. I was like... <laughs> Please. Okay, no, paste. Uh -huh. no, so it makes. Oh, well, so yeah, I just scoop a little bit of paste into exactly. my suit. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, so oh. that, like, and she said, uh, Agnes said, getting easier. I know. <laughs> Agnes said it's diverse, and for us, our mandate makes it easier for us to go out yeah. and explore. It's like mm. a new canvas. Mm. It's yeah. Once it's not raw gold, once it's not oil, mm. once it's not electricity, mm. cocoa beans, mm. we are good to go. If you mm. tell us today that I found a way to package sunshine. <laughs> and I will take it and I will mm. help you. Uh, yesterday, I heard CSIR on your... Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were talking yeah, about, yeah. yes, they find a link you with technology, link, link yeah, you with yeah, CSIR, find yeah. out how can we do this. If we start packages sunshine, it would help. <laughs> well, good. Maybe I should speak to Dr. Jenny about this. So yeah. anything yeah. that Send is non-traditional. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay, right. So um, um, Agnes just mentioned mm. that you will be looking out for, does that mean that, so when you come to this as Ghana, you move around to, oh. you're going to, Wow. I mean, we are we are we are there, but then we would you go around. Clearly, you, are, you have officers there yes. who will go around yes. the various stands, yes. mm -hmm. identifying they potential. Can also mm. come to right. the clinic. Amazing yes. stuff. No, quite Amazing honestly, stuff. I think that <laughs> we are being shortchanged. Why, why are we not exhibiting? So, uh, 
<laughs> ah, why? Today is Tuesday. <laughs> By Saturday, I'll have something to exhibit, Can I'm telling you. It's not just products we promote. Mm -hmm. okay. We also do services. services. Yes. Like what you are doing, services. Right. I have service, yes. <laughs> so, so, how should I package it? <laughs> <laughs> so, you see, um, services is, uh, I'll be the, you no, know, uh, it brings the most earnings to every economy yes. in the whole world. Even in Ghana, our uh, services sector mm. uh, gives us a lot. Yes. But because services is so wide, mm. uh, from logistics, transportation, mm. education, what we are doing at DEPA with our key stakeholders is to focus on four key areas of mm. services. So we have higher education. Mm -hmm. And so, um, was it early this year or early this year, we did a road show in Lagos, in fact, Nigeria. We went to about seven different places mm. looking for students for our good institutions in Ghana here. Mm. And so if you follow the statistics, the last couple of years, we have a lot of foreign um, students coming to Ghana. Right. Okay. You know, and it is through some of our collaborative efforts oh, wow. with the investors. Wonderful. Apart from higher education, we have what we also call medical tourism. Mm. So where um, we are using Ghana's centers of um, medical excellence, mm. we are promoting it. Um, um, like plastic surgeon, uh, mm. before the CEO of Kolebu became the yeah. CEO, yeah. we used to do a lot of work with him in the sub-region, okay. going around looking, uh, I mean, to sell our, you know, um, our services mm -hmm. in terms of uh, plastic and surgery. Mm. And then we also know about the SGMC, the Swiss Medical Center yeah. for Cancer. You know, it's one of some of these services we are promoting mm -hmm. on the export market, mm -hmm. particularly in the sub-region. Mm. Mm. We also do um, general consultancy services, Remember some years ago, when you go to, even now, some of our neighboring countries like um, Sierra Leone and Gambia, a lot of their um, key government institutions for the ports were from Ghana. Mm -hmm. These are all services we are promoting mm. outside. So your service, you, you can package it mm -hmm. very well and promote it. So yeah. not just <laughs> products, but we are also promoting mm. Services. No, you are doing an amazing yeah. job. Yeah. You are doing awesome. And I think yeah, that... It's with a it lot is, of research, actually. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. And I is. think that, I mean, this mm. is Ghana is a fantastic opportunity yeah. mm. for us to hear, you know, mm. and also mm. know where to go for what. So, lastly, so when we visit your shop, what do we get? When mm. we come to your stand, you know, on yeah. Saturday and Sunday, what am I coming to see? So I know exactly what yes. I am targeting. So when you come to the Delcy shop, you see a wide variety, variety of natural beauty products okay. from soaps, shea butter soaps to black soaps to shower Something gels. Something acne? Everything. Mm. Acne, dry skin, hyperpigmentation, mm. cleansers, facials, toners, and all of these things are made in Ghana. Shea mm. butter with various, a lot of research is going into it, various ingredients, moringa, ginger, wow. uh, castor oh, oil. Okay argan oil and all of these things are found in ghana mm -hmm. surprisingly these manufacturers are taking time to do research thanks to some of these institutions like giz and uh, gepa they're doing a lot of research like csr was here mm -hmm. yesterday yeah. and they are formulating yeah. some of them are getting licensed mm -hmm. to be licensed natural beauty formulators and mm -hmm. so the delcy shop is a platform for all of these um small businesses to showcase everything that mm. they have to the world mm. and with after also coming on board now yeah. we're yeah. so poised yeah. i was having a conversation with them before we got on set that we need delcy needs to become like an aggregator mm -hmm. right. with the help of gepa yeah. to go into the other regions even before we get to the americas and the europe mm -hmm. we yeah. want to be a stronghold in west africa and africa central africa to promote our share butter our cocoa butter mm -hmm. our oils and everything so when you come there your acne mm -hmm. your hyperpigmentation mm -hmm. your dry skin your breaking hair your edges yeah. mm -hmm. We have products from a wide range of, of brands. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. other female owned businesses yeah. who need um, some form of micro funding, who needs capacity building, who needs market access, GISS will also be there. So, you know, stuff. with this conversation this yeah. morning, I've, I've found my calling. <laughs> <laughs> because, Which I, is? No, because I see that, <laughs> Selassie, I can be a brand ambassador for you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, yeah. Gepa can help me, you know, yeah. through exactly. the Impact Hub, mm -hmm. export myself. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. GIZ will support you. Me. Are so I will access show me the technology. Uh -huh. you I am done. Everywhere. I'm done. I'm done. You're sorted. I'm so, done. yeah, basically, the, what she's trying to say is everything yes. is found here in this country. And may I uh, add? May sure, I add, please do. I was at the last This Is Ghana Fair, mm. which was what, yeah. two or three years ago. Yeah, yeah, just before COVID. We sold out in one hour, 30 minutes. Are you kidding me? If I'm not exaggerating. Wow. 
we sold out. Wow. My sales lead had to be there for me to go back and gather everything from mm. our shop. Mm. So it's not a joke. It's not mm. hype. Mm. It's real. Like, yeah. I'm a real testimony. In yeah. one hour, 30 wow. minutes, all the product samples, even the samples, mm. were They're sold. Gone. They were wow. gone. So if you're coming, please don't do lassi lassi because <laughs> it will finish. Come and come back. Your products <laughs> will finish. Yes. Come make a so statement. So come with your wallets loaded. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, now we accept all form of payments, whether yeah. cash, Momo, mm -hmm. card, POS, <laughs> link, everything. Wow. We won't take check. <laughs> no, we won't take don't check. check. No, no, no. Just come we prepared. And, and if you're a small business, also looking to where to start, what mm. to do, mm. you have the resources here. Yeah. You can even come mm. and talk to us because yeah. we've been working with GEPA yeah. and GIZ. Yeah. We can help you. So come prepared. And don't be late. No, for because prepared, we will come. Yeah. Yeah. It will finish. Yeah. No, yeah. You wouldn't yeah. like to hear it have finished. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. You know, so All for right. me, I think that is, is fantastic. Yeah, and um, I'm super mm. happy, you know, um, for some of the small mm. businesses, you know, yeah. individual businesses, yeah. it's very straightforward to know what yeah. they are doing. But some of our state institutions, yeah. sometimes you can't really yeah. pinpoint exactly what yeah. is happening. But thank you very much, Gepa, for coming on thank board. Thank you so this is much. Dana. On Saturday and Sunday, mm -hmm. we are dying with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are there with you. Salasi, <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank, thank, you, thank you very you much, thank Ruth. You. Thank you very much, Agnes. We'll mm -hmm. see you on Saturday and Sunday. Right. So this is what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Need I say more? Yeah. This is Ghana. It's happening Saturday and Sunday. Make sure you are coming. Come with your baskets. Yeah. Come with your money. Yeah. Everything. Come with your brains. You know, let's be better people after Sunday. We'll be right back.